All right, I'm playing Neverwinter Nights 2, and um, here you can just read what's going on here. Uh, actually, I'll just tell you because I'm just gonna rush through. I just told them to stand guard of the door because there's this old dude that um, needs to be protected because um, some people are trying to kill him. Well, some demons are trying to kill him. And these five people right here are my team. Um, the top one, he's a monk. And then, hold on, let me see who the other people are. I'm not even sure. Uh, the second one is a bard. Third one is a warrior type, um, like a fighter, I guess. She has a shield and a sword. And she specializes in that, in the sword. And then I have a thief and um, a mage or a sorceress, I forget. Uh, I just told them to get behind us and tend to their wounds. And I've done this before. So I already kind of know what to expect. But I just wanted to show some of the gameplay. And uh, I could like zoom in or zoom out and stuff. So you can see, but I'm controlling, right now I'm controlling all of them, but I'm mainly focusing on controlling my uh, monk. I'm just collecting the loot uh, right here. Um, let's see, attack them as they come. We can see, what? We take this battle to the enemies. Stay close to me, Captain Falcon. Stay back by the steps and use your bows against them, yeah. I want them to stay safe, so I'm gonna tell them to do that. Yeah, she's kind of lunging in like a psycho. Yeah, see, I'm trying to save these guys because um, the more I save them, the better chances of, um, of me getting more experience. If that makes any sense. See, I just leveled up right now. I guess I could show that too. How it works. Here comes more bad guys. She's gonna start collecting these remains. And the succubuses and the air knives or whatever they're called, those little things with wings. Not the middle imp looking guys, but those right there, the succubus. They look like that. Oh, I guess she's under mind control right now, so you can't tell. But, um... Oh, shit. But yeah, those right there, they have like different mind control powers. So I'm waiting for her to come back. In the meantime, I'm just grabbing all the remains. But one of the biggest problems I've had right now in this game, which is like the same for most RPGs that I play, is the loot. There's just so much loot that it's hard to manage. I think we've had enough of this one. There she is. Um... A terrified shriek that goes from the top room. Let's go. But whatever, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the remains because um, I've already been through this. And they actually drop like important stuff. See, there's a bunch of remains. But I'll, I'll go through all my stuff right now just so you can see how much item management you gotta work with in this game. It's pretty crazy. But um, at the same time, I mean, it's the type of game it is. So. And all this stuff, it equals either like good items for you to equip or cash out luck. So here it is. So I just leveled up. So I'm gonna go ahead and level up all my characters. He's a monk, and yeah, I can level up different aspects or whatever, but I'm gonna stick with monk. And um, I'll go ahead and hit next. Oh crap! I just hit recommend. Hold on. Cancel. I messed up. Hold on. Level up. Next. And I want him to be good. Ugh. I want him to be good at tumbling and parrying. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And um, survival. And maybe he could be better at. Ah, oh, that's it actually. All right. So there's like three perks that I leveled up and I don't recommend you do what I did because I've noticed what the game does it actually focuses oh, on yes. three or four skills max and I went like five or six like I did two main and the rest were like so-so's and that's not very good so if you end up playing this game I'll show you what I mean like this guy he's got three major skills he can concentrate craft alchemy craft armor oh no he's got five or six that's weird because when I try to do that it didn't work for me but him he just gets them all maybe it's because I made a weird class character like, I made a gnome monk, which is strange, and I think that's yes. what kind of messed up my character. But, you know, he's been kicking butt so far. Like, he, you know, it's not like I really messed up, messed up, but, um, I messed up, nonetheless, by taking that risk. I didn't make it, like, a pure character, I guess. Still, though, I, I like yes. my choice, and it hasn't hindered me yet, but it might screw me over later. Alright. Alright, so I just leveled up all my characters, I'm gonna let them rest, ah, oh, there's no resting. Damn it. I'm gonna go ahead and save, though. Because the problem is I got way further than this last time, but something happened and there was a glitch. So now I have to go back and I figured, you know what, I'll just go ahead and make the video. And um, since I kind of know what's going to happen, I can just kind of like roam through kind of quick. 
see for yourself what's going on. Whoa, wrong character. In the game. My step. Fuck. And I'm trying not to let these guys. Oh, oh, hell no. This is near death. Let me see if I can heal him. Alright, he's barely injured now. I hope I saved him. <laughs> Why is he laying down? Lord um, Tabaric. Where is the shard? Why have they gone? Did they take the shard from you? We'll see to your wounds. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be good. Oh, what the hell? Why did he die? Screw that. I could do better. I think last time I didn't let him die, so I'm going to go ahead and try to do that again. Yeah, that's baloney, too, because I healed him. Why is he dead? Stupid. And that's just me being a perfectionist, because I noticed it actually does help in this game. Like, also, if you're going, you know, because I'm going good and lawful and all that crap, but if you decide to go, like, evil or neutral, I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure what's going to happen. Because I usually go one extreme or the other. To me, it's just always been funner that way. See, I don't even know why that guy's even was even hurting me. There goes remains. Grab all those remains real quick. And like I said, just managing all the drops is what kind of like is hard for me in this game. It's just so much stuff. Let me see, where's the crib? See how it changed though? Now that he's alive, like where's the crib? All right, stay close, my word. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and um start moving. But had he died, it would have been a whole different scenario or whatever scenario. Oops, my bad. That's my scenario. <laughs> Alright, let me go ahead and try to survive. Uh, we're making a break for it to the crypt. So I'm basically trying to let them all survive. I'm trying to heal a hundred so you don't die. And it's, it's hard. It's hard to actually keep all those guys alive. That's why I say very often. No, I'm not even exaggerating. Like, very often. See how many people are on my party right now. That's more than Final Fantasy Part 4, which was five characters. Right now I have... Is that seven? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, <laughs> did you just see that? Yeah. Bam. Now that's a lot of characters. Now, you won't always have to multi-manage like that. Matter of fact, it doesn't even happen. But it does happen. So, I can't rest, and I'm going to go ahead and save. Like I said, it's super important you save. Super important. Because it gets, like, ridiculous. Alright, cool, so the, the head succubi or whatever. I don't even know if that's how you say it. Or the head succubus. Oh, yeah, right. She's now dead. I don't know if she's like the head of all of the succubus in the game, or succubi, or whatever in the game, but she's definitely hardcore. Damn, I should have saved again. The predictable creatures, demons. Can't abide words, not when they're done, right? Uh, now they'll have to come at us through that... Oh, oh my eyes, what is that stench? I can smell you, little lordling. I can scent your craven soul amidst the dust of your ancestors. Um, yeah. I am Kagoth the Egg, leader of hordes, cleaver of Babao and Bebelith, the hunter who does not tire. From the yawning and clamorous lair of Yagul was I plucked, and now I hunt at the bidding of my master. I like and who are you, my mortal friend? You have a wonderful scent about you. Beneath your weariness and your sweat, you smell of lives shattered and hopes trod underfoot. Perhaps I could smell you better, if only I could come a bit smell closer. Smell this, spell beast. Get, the door. Get away from the door! Bam. Now I recommend you do what I just did. Whenever you're gonna have a big battle, 
pause that crap. Perish as you should. And click on the stuff you're gonna attack. Bam. Oh, <laughs> See, cause it's very hard to manage all those characters. It's very hard. Like sometimes I'll just die and then you're like, damn. Why did it do that, you know? I try so hard to keep everybody alive, but sometimes I'll just jump in and die. See, Nishka just died right now, but she'll come back to life, so it's all good. And, but... Oh, okay, it looked like one of my characters just went crazy and started attacking us. Alright, I'm gonna go heal my ally right now. Come on, don't die, dude! Crap, pull back, son! Going on? Fuck! Oh hell no, dude. My main character just got killed. But I don't think any of. Okay, cool. Doesn't matter as long as as long as what's your name stays there fighting. Miss Jero over here. And all the rest of my characters have to keep kicking ass. See, my wizard's still hurting it. Or not? Seems like that thing's taking like zero damage. Okay, it's near death. Alright, let me see if the whole crew is still alive. It looks like. Alright, it's almost gone. Let's see, everybody's still cool? Yeah. It's just my main and my um, thief that died. Alright, wisdom. And depending on what attributes you have or whatever, sometimes you'll get different stuff in the conversations. Aw, oh, crap, I didn't even read that. We better get to the mask. Uh. Wait a minute, Melee is one of the main. Nah, it's not even important. It's, we just have to get to the place now. Alright, so look. I just, um... What's it called? I just saved all of them or whatever. So, now I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, I can't rest in this area. I'm just gonna pick up all the remains, and I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. And that's what makes this game kind of complicated. Pack is too heavy. It's difficult to carry. See, now I'm already carrying too much crap. So I gotta, like, disperse my stuff. And that's what kind of takes time. So, I hope I save, but here's the next spot. So this is a... What do you call them? Like a house with like entertainers, I guess? Like all these chicks are... What's it called? Like some of them are um, prostitutes, I guess. Some of them are dancers. Actually, I'm not sure they're prostitutes or just... I'm not sure. You know? But I know they're definitely escorts. That's cool. But I don't know if they like sleep with people. I know there's differences, depending on culture. I heard in Japan there's like, you know, those guys or whatever. Come on, stay by it, stay by Aw, you damn fool. Stay Yeah, when your wizard dies right away, that always sucks. You can see, he usually takes down like big amounts of enemies. I should have been zooming in too so you could kind of see what's going on. Damn, she took down my face. I could summon creatures and stuff, and then, uh, that was a pretty big summon. She just took it down, whatever. I'm just picking up all the loot they dropped. Oh, she came back. Awesome. Unfortunately, um, it didn't matter. See, so there's anything over here I doubt. Oh, there's the dude, actually. Ah, reinforcements. I'm afraid you are too late to save this one. And if it is the shard you're after, I am afraid I have that as well. It seems to me all you have left is your life. But that is easily corrected. And as you go further and further in the game, like the monsters actually do look cooler and everything. 
I gotta heal my man. Damn it, didn't heal him. Things are looking pretty bad. Oh no, no, I think I have this. And the little dude whistling over there. This guy right here, he's a bard, but he's like a wizard bard type of guy. And it seems like he doesn't have any damn weapons equipped. What the hell? I have darts on him. Follow me, everyone. Gotta pay attention. Alright, let's see. Potion of lore and scroll. And she is dead. Okay, so now I gotta talk to Lord Nasher. No good comes from tinkering around with ancient powers. All this ritual nonsense doesn't sound very wise. It is madness. But with the madness comes power, and Garius will not turn away. So yeah, that old dude was basically, um, like I said, he's just some kind of mind-warped old wizard that went through a lot of crap, so he's very weird. And um, I don't know if he's good or bad or whatever, or if he even knows what's going on. And that chick that was there with him, that lizard girl, she's um, basically she's some kind of leader of a group of lizard people. And uh, she's been trying to do the same thing we have, but she doesn't. She didn't tell us anything. She just wanted to take away our stuff. So then we got into trouble with her. Let me see. Um, I heard there was a battle of Moonstone. Mask is Melia. One of the nine is dead. Yes. It's trouble news. The killer. Were you at least able to catch him? No, he had to capture. Then it seems there's a um, little more to be done. I can dispatch many start cloaks to Moonstone Mask and Saran's home to look for clues. Uh, why didn't you tell me about Amelia? If I had known one of the nines was involved, we could have shared. What do you want me to do next? Screw it. Whatever his reasons are, I'm not gonna figure them out. If there was a trail, uh, I would, I would ask you to track down this murderer. Blah blah blah. blah. Oh, this part. So this lady's a jerk right here. She's like screwing around, dealing with the evil guys, and she's pretending to be good. You know, she's hard to trust because the whole game they've been like hinting at her being evil. Before I go, let's get involved with Ember. Let's get is not your concern, that is all. Alright, so the dude basically told us to get out. What do you want? See? So these guys are in the castle right now. The king's like, just get out of here and go handle or whatever. So, okay, so now I gotta go to Crossroad Keep, I think. I encountered something on the way there, it's a... Oh, I remember this. Yeah. See, somebody, I think it was her, that lady that was just there, made this thing. So it did something. I'm gonna put this. Yeah, she says she feels weak. So that thing, it's basically like a shadow clone of her. Like an evil version, kind of like Shadow Link. And um, it did something to her, but we don't know what it is. And that thing was made by that lady and some other guy. The one that was talking to the king that was, you know, making us go through that garbage. That bullshit. The chamber is ready, Master Garrus. The ritual may begin whenever you wish. Very well. Where are the shadow priests? They took their leave, Master. Once they were done preparing the chamber for the ritual. Deal with them when we are done here. After this night, we shall have no further use for them, or their king of shadows. It shall be as you command, Garrus. Then let us begin the ritual. Order the rest of the Brotherhood here at once. After all, we wouldn't want to keep Neverwinter waiting. So yeah, that guy basically thinks he knows what's up, and he's trying to do this crazy ritual, but he doesn't understand that it's a crazy ritual, and that he has no control of what he's doing. Like, if the ritual goes farmer, as it should, even bury him. They just left him for the vultures. Why he's gonna they do this. It's monstrous. He's gonna bring like the super demon that's gonna destroy all of Neverwinter. Thank you. I'm with the many.
All right, so basically these guys, they're like some goofballs that are going to help us to try to take over this castle. The Luskins changed guard ships around this time. And these Luskins have been in messing and out with the whole game. We can't waste any time. We were able to translate some of them. I recommend we strike hard and fast. Hopefully taking them by surprise and disrupting their plans. You make it sound so easy. It was some change. It seemed wise. What are we up against? Around 20 Luskins. The Arcane Brotherhood wizards will be more of a challenge, but we can handle them. Luskin sends in spies all the time. We're very good at removing them. Looks like they're still... It's time! The Luskins right, are cool. opening Basically, the doors! we're going to go in there, Ready? and these guys say they have some kind of battle experience. So, we should go good. So, last time I did make it this far and a little bit further, but something happened. I'm ready. Stay close and follow me. Lead the way. Let's go. Yeah, I told them to follow me, but they all ran in front of me. And since you saw last time, Let like, take you. what you do, if, if they die or whatever, you start losing experience. Zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on. So, yeah, that wasn't so bad. I'm gonna go in there now. The doors! Get through the doors! We're under attack! You men, get back in there and seal the doors! This is another one of those moments where I want to pause. Me. Push these dogs back! So I can figure out where that guy is. There he is. That's the Luskin captain, so I want to make my main character go after him. And there he is. That guy, he's a killer, so he can take down a lot of them. Yeah. See, we just lost one of our guys. Right? Anyway. Unfortunately, to say the least. So basically, these guys are trying to open the door, and they're like, we can't do it. And I'm basically going to go to a secret passage and open these tunnels for them. So yeah, so they told me to go through here. There's a tunnel. Mm, there's a tunnel. Let's see. And, um... Yeah, soon this part of the adventure will end and I will end the video. Yeah, she's a wild one. Wait a minute. Did I like, damn it. I didn't grab the damn remains. The remains are important if you're going to be doing alchemy and all that crap. From all these creatures. Let's see, I think I saw her go over here. Uh, let's see, there's nothing there though. Let me bring out my map. I don't want to get lost. Yeah, that trap there slows everybody down and passes through it. Make sure they're taking long to get help me. Oh no, cool, they're actually fighting something right now. Oh, crap, I'm not gonna lie, this is crazy night. Let's see. Yeah, something happened over here. There's a door and I didn't even see it. Oh, yeah, the ore. I'm guessing eventually I'm gonna have a use for all this ore that's been uh, hiding around in different areas. What the hell? What's going on? Let's see if it leaves any uh, remains. Yeah, see, all those little remains matter. Yeah, there's so many like different creatures and stuff in this game. Like that big summon you just saw. I saw one guy online just playing with like, a giant tree with the druids. And um I forget what else, but it was pretty interesting. Perish as you should! And after playing this game I actually feel like making my own little RPG with the RPG editor. Or at least try other people's RPGs. Maybe there's a way to Oh crap. Is she she's dazed. Like I said, it sucks when your wizard gets um, screwed over for whatever reason. Yeah, that's trippy. The spider got like a stone spider. Stone spider. See so if it leaves something. Sure did. Scrolls. Alright. There's a bunch of stuff in here. A short sword. Bastard and spear, armor. My pack is too heavy. Yeah, that armor it's really to carry. weighed him down.
I like to organize my stuff and make sure all my characters are equipped with the best stuff all the time. But it does slow down the, the gameplay. Like I said, I'm gonna make sure I speed through that in the video. I'll let my thief take care of this trap. This is what I should have been doing the whole time. Instead of like getting hurt by all those traps. But, uh, you know, for the sake of rushing. I was like, screw it. And here's an old man. Will throw up right here. Let me go ahead and save this. Uh, I'll save it to the same one. Since this was after I had um, bought stuff. And made that one mistake. What are you doing? Basically, this guy got lied to, and he's like very gullible. Yeah, he got kidnapped. What's going on? And if I remember correctly, more stuff. Golden crown. Yes, that is sad. And I think there is something important that goes on right here, so I'm going to save this one last time. Just because I hate having to redo all that crap over again. Let me see. Oh, I can't rest that. Oh yeah, there's these guys. I'm going to go ahead and rest them. Before they start casting crap. It's always good to get those wizards right away. It's not going good, I'm not going to talk shit. It's probably um, Garius' ritual, we need to stop it. Aldon, Aldenon claimed Black Garius was attempting a dark ritual, it looks like he was right, yeah. See, this is the thing. Those guys, last time, one of them died. Like, an important one of them died. So that's why I had to do all this crap over again, because, um, they kind of, like, stopped the quest from going on. And that's some, a problem I've seen with certain games like these, like, um, Fallout has the same problem. And New Vegas and all that other stuff. Fallout New Vegas. And all the other Fallouts, for that matter, have a problem, which is what I just mentioned. And let me see if I can rest. Okay, cool. For cool. <laughs> Let's see, um... Go ahead and save now. Okay, so yeah, the only mistake I made is that selling that stupid um, thing, which I should have sold. Uh, what team you serve, Black Arius? Do you not? You will not blame me. Here. So all these guys are like wizards in general, I'm trying to stop them from uh, They're trying to delay what's going on on the other side. And the good thing is I don't think we lost anybody from our team right now. And last time we lost somebody. And that sucked. Damn, an item broke that was in there. It's probably an important item. See what's in here. All right. So yeah. And where is the door that I was supposed? To oh, it's down here. Yeah. So there's a moment of tooth right here. I'm gonna go ahead and rest again. The reason I keep hitting rest is not only to regenerate my HP, but it's to refill all the powers so that we have all our powers ready to go. Because every time you fight or whatever, you're wasting your powers. And um, in order to get them back, you gotta rest. That's why some places don't let you rest. So you gotta take advantage and rest whenever you can. You have your characters at full. Now, these guys are up in the front, but they should be in the back. Another thing I recommend is if you know where the stuff is at, grab it. Because if they start messing it up, like the bad guys, they'll destroy things. And um, if they destroy things, they could wreck armors and stuff like that. So it's always good to grab everything. See, we just killed that construct. Remains. 
Wait, did I just... Did I just... The pack is too heavy. Double whammy Let's I cut? I might have. No, I thought I, I saw a glitch there for a second. Weird. Okay, so I got a ton of stuff now. Let's see, I gotta put some of this stuff away. Everyone, follow All right, me. I guess that's cool for now. What was it? Studded leather, leather armor. Damn, what the hell am I talking yes, about? Yes, that is so. Armor. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, save once again. Okay, zoom. Keep going. You four, ignore them. The rest of you. This is the important part. If I let my guys die, my little backup buddies, it's gonna mess everything up. So I gotta make sure they stay alive. And oops, I don't know if I just... There's Vale. I gotta make sure he's alive. I think some of the other guys died. Which sucks. Idiots, you're not. But Vale definitely had to stay alive because last time it screwed me over. And I think all this part right here is like automated. Like I can do anything about it. I think. What have you done to me? See, he's done. He didn't know he was gonna die by doing this ritual. What in the hell is going on here? Pile them up and burn them. So yeah, this is basically the part where I had let Vale die last time. Next thing you know. Oh shit. Crazy. What are those things? They look like little ghost riders with blue heads. But with robes. Never mind, they don't look like ghost rider at all. They just look like these robed blue flaming skull heads. If that makes any sense. Let's see what happens. The next exciting adventure. Forgive me, Master Aldenon. I'm afraid I do not understand. Very well. Let us set aside the broader metaphor of the stone and narrow our attention to the fact that it has been cleft in two, which, while not a fact, is a smaller metaphor than the first. You see, at first glance, the two halves both appear as separate stones, but they were both once one stone, yet not. Do you follow? Ah, welcome. I was just speaking with Master Aldenon concerning one of the prisoners you recovered from Garius, a woman but not of Neverwinter or Luskin, or even perhaps this plane of existence. The prisoner has asked for you, personally. I was hoping you might be able to help us out concerning her identity, or her intentions. Aldenon has a theory, but I'm afraid... If you both would simply listen! The comparison to a rock, a big rock, is a simple one, almost perfect. This prisoner you have, it seems that she is of the same stone as the gift Yankee, but yet she is not. You see, both were once one people. At, at one time, even though time is a very difficult thing to measure depending on the plane. And that's not counting time in the astral plane, or on... Forgive me, Aldenon, is this prisoner a threat, or not? Oh, I don't know that. I do know that the Gitsurai and the Gift Yankee have been in a state of war for millennia. It is common knowledge. Of course, an oversight on my part. So, I should think if your young lieutenant here, well met again by the way, you seem to be everywhere, is hunted by the Gift Yankee, then the Gitsurai and this Gitsurai prisoner would be allies by default. But I could be mistaken. I suppose we could see if she tries to kill any of us. But that test has numerous procedural flaws in its execution, if you will pardon the semantics. She seemed reasonable enough when we spoke together in Crossroad Keep. But there was a foot of stone between us, which is notoriously hard for a blade to cut through to kill someone on the other side. And speaking of Crossroad Keep, I am rather anxious to return there. So if you would both excuse me, I will set out there at once to see if we can dig anything out of the library there. Good day. And I hope the prisoner doesn't attempt to kill you. She didn't seem the type, but you know how assassins are. Despite the advice of Master Aldenon, I think it would be best if you simply spoke to the prisoner and let this matter sort itself out, without further speculation. I felt your presence before my eyes fell upon you, Kalakcha. Step forward. Let me look upon you. Your name. Your name is not how I know you. Know this name our enemies have draped upon you. This Kalakcha. Its sound travels far, even reaching the ears of my people. At first, my people thought our enemies had erred, that they did not know that of which they speak. But here, now, as you stand in my presence, I see the truth. I did not think it possible, but the key by which you may know yourself lies within you. I know much of the problems that beset your people and mine. The reason behind these attacks upon your heart and home. You will have no greater ally in this than I. In exchange for my aid, it is my will I be freed, so that I might travel with you and aid you against these enemies. This cell is abhorrent to me. It is a shackle of stone encasing me. 
It causes memories of the ways of the Illithids to surface in my mind. I have borne this indignity because I knew that it would bring you to me, and a greater truth will be known. Okay, I'll trust her. I heard you were here. You fought for- You are to be commended, along with what may be the key to taking this battle to our enemies. In freeing me, know you have gained more than you ever would have torn from the lips and thoughts of our enemies. Then speak. Aldenon does not think you are allied with it. Then know the trade between us is this. Release me from this prison. Let my path become that of the Kalakcha. In return, I will grant you the knowing of this threat, and all the darkness its shadow casts. We promise an honest hearing, and if your tale rings true, we will grant your freedom. Th but we cannot do it here. In this prison, where my words echo, and the shadows fall thick around- And why should we allow your freedom until we hear what you- Because if you deny me that, then anything I can do to aid you will prove useless. I seek to know this plane, and that means that I must see your lands. Then I know of just the place where you can see what we fight for. Make your way back to Crossroad Keep as soon as you're able. I shall meet you there. Coolio, alright, so now I have one new character on my team, which is J Z -Z Jaive or something. <laughs> Jaive or Jaev. And, um, let's see. I have to figure out how I'm gonna do this. I had Kara on my team. Um, I don't know what I want right now on my team. Um, maybe Kara again, because she was going through that stuff with that shadow self or whatever. And let me see. Um, who else? Um, yeah, maybe Casavir. Casavir's um, uh, what's it called? A paladin. So. I kind of want Grobnar in there, though. Yeah, because I'm trying to make him waste all his darts and crap that he has. Alright, so that will be the party. And, um, let me check inventory for yes. this character right here. She is using a spear plus two, and Walking if I remember, I had a bunch of stuff that she could use. Because yes. she doesn't even have armor or anything. Yes, that is so. So yeah, this is where it all comes back, like, you have a ton of crap. What will you use it on? Why not her? But I'm not going to bore you with all that stuff because it's going to take a while to equip it all and I'll just end the video right here.